If you want to use a large screen TV with your computer, it's easy to do. The first step is to connect your TV to your computer. Now I can't tell you the exact cable you will need because each video card is different. You may have HDMI outputs on the computer and you may have an HDMI input on the TV. In our case, we have a DisplayPort output on the video card and an HDMI input on the TV. So we can either use a DisplayPort to HDMI cable or an HDMI cable and a DisplayPort adapter. And in this case, we're using an adapter to a very long HDMI cable. Now, after you have your TV connected, go ahead and turn on your computer. Now, once you turn on your computer, you are probably already seeing something on your big TV screen, but you do have some options. So let's look at those real quick. Just right click here on an empty space on the desktop and choose display settings. You could also type in display down here in your windows start menu. So what you're going to see is something like this. Now I happen to have four different monitors. Okay. If you just have two, you're just going to see two and you can rearrange these by the way. And that just means, so right now we have one right here. This is our main monitor right here. And here's two over here. So if I drag this window over this way, you can see how this window drags between uh, both of those. Now, if on the other hand, I rearranged it like that, then I would have to drag this way in order to get this window into monitor number two, just hit apply whenever you make any changes. Okay. You can also change them vertically and you can also stack them on top of each other. If that's how you prefer you know, to move your windows around whenever you're moving to different monitors. All right. So just keep in mind, you can move these around however you want. So this is our main monitor and we can always tell that by coming down here and we see this is our main display and you can make any display you want your main display. Just check this box whenever you want to uh, switch your main display. But let's deal with our large TV right here. So we'll just select it and you're going to have some options, especially if you're dealing with like a 4K TV. So this is a 4K TV that we have. So in that case, we have some scaling here just to make things a bit bigger. Uh, here's our 4K resolution. You can always change this around however you want. And right now, by default, it should be on extend desktop to this display. Now, all of our monitors in our case are set uh, to extend desktop to this display. So that just means, again, in our case, since we have four different screens, we can have four separate things on each monitor. You know, maybe you have Word open on one side, you have a video editor open, uh, you have YouTube playing, whatever you want, and uh, use your monitors or your screens that way. But you also have another option, and that is called duplicate desktop. Now, again, in our case, since we have four different screens, our number one uh, desktop is our main monitor, and four, again, is the giant TV. So what if I wanted whatever's going on on my main monitor to automatically be on the big TV? And there's plenty of reasons to uh, have things set up like that as well. So you can do that if you want. I'll select number one. Scroll down here, multiple displays, and I'll choose duplicate desktop on one and four. And then on two and three, those will still be uh, separate monitors. So I'll select that. And then you should see uh, this screen on the uh, big TV. If you like it, choose keep changes. Otherwise, it will revert automatically just in case uh, you know, those settings aren't working out. Now, whatever you do on your main monitor will automatically be duplicated on your big TV screen. Again, there's a lot of uses for setting things up like this. And there's a lot of uses for having things just be extended display. You can see how things look now. So one and four are essentially linked together. Okay. And of course you can always change this anytime you want. If you want to go back to it, come back down here and extend your desktop back to one and four. And then you'll have in our case, four different monitors, or maybe in your case, two different monitors. So if you've been wanting to use a large screen TV with your computer, it's really just that easy on Windows 10. Of course, take a look at your video card, whatever connection you need, and make sure you have the proper connection from your computer to whatever TV you happen to have. All right, so that is using a big screen TV with your computer.